Hi, I'm Allie. You may remember me as Baba Sheep from Mother Goose Club. But I'm embarking on a new adventure with my friend, Alfie. Join us as we explore the fascinating animal kingdom. Wild, wild, wild. It's Wild Wild Wow! Ha! Ha! Hi, Ollie! Ha! Ha! Did you know that hundreds of years ago, soldiers used to fight with swords and wear this type of armor to protect themselves? Yes, but that doesn't really happen anymore. Although, we still have an animal that has a kind of armor. Sadly, it's also in danger of becoming extinct. What does extinct mean? That means it doesn't exist anymore. Oh, right. Like they've all gone. Exactly. What animal is it, Allie? Why don't I show it to you? Come on, guys. Time to head to the Creature Scope. I can't wait to see an animal that has his very own suit of armor. Then take a look. Wild, wild, wow. What a strange looking creature this is. It's called a pangolin. Some people also call them scaly anteaters. And it does look like it's wearing a suit of armor. Yes, pangolins are covered in tough things called scales. The scales are made from the same material as our hair and fingernails. It's called keratin. So the scales must keep them safe from any animals that might want to eat them. Yes, and pangolins have another trick. If they sense any danger, they curl themselves up into a ball. Cool, that would really protect them. Pangolins are very good pest controllers. They eat huge amounts of ants and termites, and their sharp claws churn up the ground, which helps keep the soil healthy. They also swallow small stones and gravel. How weird is that? Pangolins don't have teeth, so they can't chew. The stones in their stomach help them to grind up the insects they catch and digest them. Wow, look how long its tongue is. Their long, sticky tongues are perfect for catching insects. And some kinds of pangolins even climb trees. Do they make nests in trees? No, they usually hunt for insects during the night, then spend their days sleeping in burrows or hollow trees. You said that these great little animals are in danger of becoming extinct? Yes, and once again, it's we humans who are to blame because some people use their scales or eat them. There's a danger of having none left. So we should do everything we can to save them. Absolutely, Alfie. How about we start with a project? One that shows just how special pangolins are. Great idea. All right, guys, come for a ride in the Zippy Zoomer. Ready, everybody? Let's wow, wow, wow. Hey there, kids, come gather around. Come meet the animals, adventures abound. Learning, exploring, let's seize the day. Come on, let's play. Yay! Hills to jungles and seas, up in the sky to the trees. Yeah, it's wild, wild. I was really amazed to learn that pangolins swallow small stones to help digest their food. I'd love to learn about how that works. Let's see if we can find out how they do it. Hmm. All we'll need are two plastic bags with leaves inside, water, and rocks. First, we'll take our water and pour it into our plastic bags. Hmm. and I'm going to add rocks to my bag. Ooh. Now, we'll seal our bag up. Make sure there are no air bubbles. Now, we're going to use our hands to mash up the leaves. Mm. This will take about one minute. Ready? Yep. Go! Time's up. Wow, yours look more messed up. So you see, Alfie, this is how a pangolin's stomach works. Super wild, Allie. Pangolins have amazing stomachs, and they're really wonderful creatures. 
but they're in danger from us humans. So let's all make sure we look after these great little creatures. Okay, guys, I've got a very tricky challenge for you now. Let's see if you can guess which animal I am. I'm called a kind of dragon, but I'm not really a dragon. I'm the biggest, heaviest lizard on Earth. I can grow to be as long as a car, and my tail is as long as my body. I have a wide, flat head, a long, round nose, jagged teeth, and my long tongue's always flicking in and out. I have short, powerful legs and sharp claws. Can you guess which animal I am? If you say Komodo dragon, then you guess right. Well done. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you've enjoyed meeting our animal friends and agree about how important it is to protect them in the wild. We'll see you again soon. In the meantime, don't forget that we always say, It's Wild Wild Wow! It's Wild Wild Wow!